Iranian investment in cyberspace, more dangerous weapon than nuclear. The key points of this video are When and how Iran started investment in cyber army What about the cyber abilities of Iran? Iranian hackers are serious threat for American companies, cyber security researchers and US government officials declared. The Iranian are accused of some high-profile online operations against the US. Iranian hackers tried to hack presidential campaign, claimed Microsoft. How Iranian hackers targeted American banks. Before going into the detail, you are requested to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon, so that timely notification about my latest updates may reach to you. If you want to read this article, please visit my blog. Here you will IND informative article about current affair, health and fitness, motivation and career counseling. Link is given in the description. In case you like the video, please like, share and comment. Let's start. Hackers linked to Iran are probing American companies for vulnerabilities, cybersecurity researchers and US government officials say. The warnings suggest that the next phase of hostilities between the US and Iran, following the January 3 killing of a top Iranian general in an American drone strike, is likely to play out in cyberspace. The Iranian regime is accused of being behind some high-profile online operations against American targets in recent years. Microsoft says Iranians tried to hack US presidential campaign. Between 2011 and 2013, hackers targeted big American banks including JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America and Capital One. They flooded the bank's computer networks with traffic, knocking them offline and costing millions of dollars in lost business. In 2018, a ransomware attack crippled the city of Atlanta, leaving police officers to write reports by hand and city workers punching in and out with time clocks. In both cases, Iranian nationals were ultimately indicted. In one of the most high-profile cases, hackers destroyed data on computers at the Sands Casino in Las Vegas after its billionaire owner, Sheldon Adelson, called for a nuclear strike on Iran. Iran's investment in its cyber army dates back to 2010, the year a powerful computer worm called Stuxnet infected an Iranian nuclear facility. The US and Israel are believed to have been behind the attack, although neither country has ever acknowledged responsibility. Stuxnet destroyed critical equipment and set back Iran's nuclear ambitions. As a result of the impact that Stuxnet had on the Iranian enrichment program, they formed, funded, trained and attached to their warfighting capabilities a very strong cyber capability, said Jordan Moriello, senior vice president of managed security at cybersecurity firm Critical Start. Stuxnet hurt Iran, but Moriello and other experts say it also demonstrated to the country's leaders the power of digital weapons to level the playing field against the military superiority of the US. Iran has created teams of cyber warriors inside the Revolutionary Guard Corps, its elite military wing. But Iran also relies on proxy groups and hackers aligned with its goals. In the weeks since a US airstrike killed Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, nationalist hacktivists are suspected of defacing a US government website with pro-Iran messages. Cyber tools enable asymmetric attacks by inflicting economic or reputational damage, said Cara Frederick, a fellow at the Center for a New American Security. Cyber allows them to compete at a level of parity that they don't have in the physical world, she said. Iran has also used these tactics against other foes, including Saudi Arabia. US officials blame Iran for wiping out data on three quarters of computers at Aramco, the kingdom's giant oil company, in 2012. While the threat of military escalation between the US and Iran appears to have eased in recent days, US government officials and security researchers are warning companies to be on the alert for cyber attacks. Right now what we're seeing instead is a huge increase in reconnaissance activity, Moriello said. Specifically looking for potentially vulnerable servers, data gathering. The kind of preparing the battle plan in the cyberspace. Earlier this month, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said agencies in his state have seen an increase in attempted computer intrusions attributed to Iran. The Department of Homeland Security has also warned that Iran may retaliate for Soleimani's death with cyber attacks ranging from defacing websites to destroying data. Iran's activities have shown its ability to cause financial harm and embarrassment. However, experts say a more serious cyber intrusion into critical U.S. infrastructure, like electrical grids, would take more time and effort. Cyber is not a magic button, meaning that it takes many months of planning to achieve a specific outcome, said Oren Falkowitz, a former National Security Agency analyst who is the CEO of Area 1 Security. Iran is not alone in amping up its cyber capabilities. Researchers say Russia and China present the biggest threats to American targets.